Trichomoniasis caused by the protozoan Tritrichomonas fetus is a serious reproductive or venereal disease found in some Utah cattle herds. Diagnosis of trichomoniasis is made when the trichomonad organism are detected in the smegma or prepucial flush samples of bulls or the uterine vaginal fluids of cattle. Because of the potential contamination of a sample with fecal trichomonads, the use of an approved polymerase chain reaction or PCR test differentiates between the two. Frozen samples are to be shipped on ice to the Utah Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory. Such that arrival can be guaranteed to happen when the laboratory is open and the sample remains frozen. We suggest overnight delivery. Once frozen, the sample can remain in the freezer until delivery is arranged. Call the Utah Veterinary Diagnostic Lab at 435-797-1895 to ensure delivery and to alert them of incoming samples. A sample that is inconclusive will be considered positive. A sample determined to be negative to Tritrichomonas fetus by PCR will be considered negative. Sample collection. With bulls, the preferred sample location is the glans penis. The glans penis is the area between the sheath and penis. Any hanging fecal balls or long hair at the prepucial opening should be trimmed to minimize sample contamination. Samples are obtained using a sterile insemination pipette and performing a vigorous back and forth scraping motion along the glands while applying negative pressure with an attached 10 or 20 mil syringe. The manufacturer's media package insert recommends a 20 mil syringe be used. Keep in mind a separate sterile pipette and sterile syringe should be used for each animal. After sampling, a current official trick tag should be placed in the right ear of each bull at the time of sample collection under the direction of a certified veterinarian. Official trick tags can be obtained by contacting the, the Utah Department of Agriculture and Food. The color of tag changes each year and the markings correspond to the year and to the state. Media. Currently, the only official recognized media for the culturing of bovine trichomoniasis organisms in the state of Utah is the in-pouch manufactured by Biomed Diagnostics. For media inoculation, hold the pouch upright, tear off the upper edge where marked to allow access to the upper chamber. If some fluid from the lower chamber is not in the upper chamber, gently apply pressure to the lower chamber to transfer media from bottom to top. Inoculate the sample into the small upper chamber of the pouch. Flush out the pipette by drying up a few milliliters of pouch solution into the pipette, repeating as necessary to sufficiently inoculate the upper chamber. The inoculated flu in the upper chamber should be squeezed or squeegeed into the lower chamber being careful to apply just enough pressure to evacuate the upper chamber without rupturing the pouch itself. Carefully express air bubbles out of the lower chamber to maintain the anaerobic environment. Roll the top of the plastic pouch down to the top of the lower chamber and fold the wire strips across to hold and seal. Caution, do not stir or mix the contents and keep the packet upright at all times once the lower chamber is inoculated. Handling and care of the pouches is critical. The handling and or shipping of the inoculated media samples is one of the most critical steps in trichomoniasis diagnosis. The inoculated media should be kept at 65 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit until it is incubated. It is especially important to avoid overheating or freezing. 
Handle the inoculated pouches in insulated containers that will protect the samples from extreme temperatures, either hot or cold. Trichomonad organisms are very susceptible to either freezing or overheating. Samples should be incubated as soon as possible at 98 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After incubation, pouches should be frozen directly. Frozen samples should be shipped in an insulated container to ensure samples remain frozen. It is important to arrange shipping so that samples arrive at the laboratory in a frozen state.